Hi, I'm Chuck Evans, and today we're going to talk about the difference between 2D and 3D, 3D video. 2D obviously is what you see on your video camera when you're taking video, you know, out on your T-line with your phone or iPad or whatever. And 3D gives us a 3D motion capture, so we get not only the horizontal and the vertical, but we get the depth of field as well. So we're going to talk about a couple of things that you can see on 3D that you can't see on 2D. And one of them is your lead wrist angles. So we'll bring that up, Callie. And we're going to talk about how the, uh, on the lead wrist, how we can always monitor the angle between the wrist, the shaft, and the lead arm. Now you notice this player at the top has a 92 degree angle here. Now what happens is we can still measure this on 2D with some line drawing tools, but it may not be quite as accurate. 3D, 3D with, the, with the advent of having all three of the dimensions, the, the horizontal, the vertical, and the depth, will give us an exact prescription every time. So as this player starts down, you see how this number is decreasing, but yet his angle is getting sharper. Now he's starting to lose the angle comes in on a golf ball and now you can see how it rolls back over and he recocks that wrist. Again on 2D we can certainly see these things but we don't have a super accurate way of measuring them. Uh, you'd have to draw the lines in a specific place at a specific time and you'd have to do that same thing every single time. One of the other things that we that is hard to see on 2D video is what it's a difference what we call the lead arm adduction and that's the lead arm to the thorax or the upper body. So we're talking about this angle in here right now. So let's do kind of a down the line view if we can, Kelly. All right, so that way we'll be able to, a little bit more, there you go. That's good, right there. So as we take that up, and again, we can measure some of these things if we can get the shoulder angles just right. You can see how these angles are matching up right now. And now as he starts down, we're going to see uh, with 3D, as he's coming down, we can see how the pressure is loading against his chest right there. And what we're talking about is, if I stand this way and I go to the top, what I'm talking about is the stretch from the lead arm across the shoulders up here. Again, that's something you can't see in 2D. Um, now let's take a look at just the, uh, uh, the thorax versus the shoulders, or the rib cage versus the shoulders. Because again, everybody talks about a lot of shoulder turn, and and you know you we, we draw these lines and we measure and go, well, he's got 90 or she's got 90 degrees of shoulder turn. As we take this up, we can watch how the uh, rib cage and the shoulders are turning a little bit differently. So as you get to the top here, now see you're, we're, right now we're measuring measuring the rib cage versus the shoulder angle. That's really hard to do on video. In fact, it's almost impossible to do on video. As they start coming down, again, we can, we can see how the rib cage can move without the shoulders moving sometimes. So that would look similar to this. When I got to the top, my rib cage is moving right now along with my pelvis, but my shoulders aren't moving. So again, hard to see in 2D. You can, you can see it if you've used 3D enough. You can see a little bit of it but the 3D is going to give you the exact picture. So, you know, video is fine for some things, but if you really want to get accurate and, and measure properly, you need to have 3D motion capture. 